Okay, good afternoon everyone. Today we shall look at our introduction to accounting and bookkeeping. So, and uh, uh, under this, uh, we shall look at uh, the definition of bookkeeping and accounting. Then the difference between bookkeeping and accounting users of uh, accounting information or financial statement and uh, going to look at the importance or benefit of uh, bookkeeping and accounting then uh, lastly we shall look at the history of uh, accounting bookkeeping so first of all let's start with the meaning of bookkeeping and accounting the first thing is uh, let's look at uh, what is bookkeeping based on this we know that uh, bookkeeping is the systematic recording of daily financial transactions of an organization so that the financial position of a business can be readily ascertained or determined at any time what this means is bookkeeping is nothing than recording of daily transaction of an organization for instance now have an organization which is company x you make sales you purchase goods you incur expenses so that recording the daily transaction that you record is what is called bookkeeping your daily business you make sales you have to record it on the system in your books so that recording is what is called bookkeeping then accounting accounting is the act of recording recording classifying analyzing summarizing interpreting and communicating financial information of an organization to various end users of such information this means is that accounting is beyond bookkeeping is far far beyond that but yeah accounting use the information use whatever is being recorded into that system or in your books to so now you you record that first of all you have to record your transactions that is first aspect of accounting after recording the transaction what do you do you now classify the transactions for instance you have income you have expenses you have assets you have liability so you have to classify all these transactions when you are done with the classification next thing is you now analyze them have to analyze all the transactions you have classified then you now summarize all your transactions or everything you have to summarize it because for instance in the, let's say first of may you make sales second of may you you make sales up to the last day in that month so what this is saying you summarize it for instance your total sales for the month of may is let's say four thousand four thousand naira. that this is what summarizing means have to summarize all your transactions then the next one is you have to interpret it you now interpret your you now interpret it interpretation here means that after summarizing this data summarize everything you have to interpret this to the users of that financial information who and who want to make use of this then you have to interpret this to them so that they will understand what you mean then you now communicate it now communicate this information to them that is what uh, accounting means but all these points that I just explained you have to include them when defining uh, account now let's look at the difference between bookkeeping and accounting first thing is bookkeeping 
concentrate only on the routine recording of transactions as i explained when i was defining bookkeeping said it concerned recording and here is telling you that bookkeeping is a routine recording so it only record transactions that is it then uh, the second one is uh, okay uh, while accounting goes beyond the aspect of recording to classify and analyze summarize and interpret I explained all this when I was defining accounting so you see is accounting is far far beyond just recording you have to summarize you have to classify you have to analyze you have to interpret and communicate this information to the users is another one point this one difference of accounting and bookkeeping next one is bookkeeping is limited in scope bookkeeping is limited in scope what this means is that bookkeeping is only limited to recording bookkeeping is only recording while accounting has a wider scope you can summarize classify you have to do all these things it's very wide you can't compare that to uh bookkeeping then the third one is uh the time required for training to be qualified bookkeeper is shorter compared to an accountant bookkeeper is just to record the time required to train someone to be recording transaction is very short very in a short period of time you can train someone to be recording your transactions but to train someone to become qualified accountant is take a lot of time and has to pass through a lot of training to become that and the next one is bookkeeping records bookkeeping records are mainly for internal use in an organization bookkeeping is for internal use why is it for internal use because you record that in order to generate your financial statement in order to generate financial statement that is what this means you cannot use bookkeeping for external use you cannot give uh, external auditors your book your bookkeeping what they only need is your financial statement into when they need further explanation but what they need is your financial statement then the next thing is one uh, accounting record are both for internal and external users that is what this means then uh, next thing is uh, bookkeeping is an integral part of accounting while accounting is more complex and has bookkeeping as one of its component then what this is trying to explain is that bookkeeping is not an integral is small part is a part of accounting it's but uh, why what this accounting mean? Uh, bookkeeping then uh, is just a component. accounting information of a financial, financial statement accounting is a language of business it brings life to a business what this means is that accounting brings life to a business in a situation whereby you have a business and you do not keep financial record of that business so that business is dead already but once you have financial record of that business at least that business that record it now brings life to that business then the next one is uh, it acts as a bridge between the users of the information and the day-to-day -day transaction that occur inside a business what this means is that uh, the users of that information or the owners of that information it depends on the user is that internal or external now this accounting tells them what exactly ha happens in their business what is going on in that business accounting does that then now let's look at the types of uh, users of accounting information the users of accounting information is divided into two we have internal and external who are internal users if a user of uh, the information is part of the business 
itself then he or she is considered as one of the internal or primary users of the accounting information like owners of the business employees all these ones they are internal users they are part of the business so they are internal users then the external users external users if a user of the information in an external party and is not related to the business then he or she is considered as external user or secondary user of the information like uh, regulatory body this government tax authority potential investors financial analysts all these ones they are all external users so let's look at the internal users who and who are internal users of the financial statement so uh, we have the management organizations internal management include all junior and senior managers this means the managers those that are managing that business they are internal users then the second one is uh, the second one is owners or partners the owners of that business they are also internal users of the financial statement then we have employees employees they are the staff those that are working in that organizations they are internal users of the financial statement have board of directors board of directors are the internal users of that information well, because they have to make decisions strategic decisions concerning that business so then we have accounting department accounting department they use that to make a lot of decisions so they are internal users now let's look at the external users we have investors potential investors those that want to invest in that business they are external users they have nothing to do with that business but they need that information in order to make the the decision of whether to invest or not and we have lenders lenders they have bank and non-banking financial companies anybody that wants to provide finance money to that business is a lender and is an external person so he still needs that information we have a regulatory or tax authorities these are government bodies that they will need this information too then we have customers your customers they need your information because in a situation whereby those that buy your goods they don't know your financial strength they don't know they might maybe they have to pay before they lift any goods but in a situation whereby they make payment and you cannot deliver that they are in trouble so they need your financial uh, uh, information then public then the general public or financial analysts they need that too then importance of bookkeeping and accounting or reason why accounting record are important have one to determine the profit or loss made by the business during a particular trading period when you want to determine calculate whether this business is making profit or not you need financial information you need accounting record of that business next one is the existence of financial record helps in decision making by managers of the business i explained earlier one of the users of the financial information is managers and they need this information in order to make decisions concerning that business and the next one is financial record help in prevention of fraud so in a situation where the, there is fraud then and you now have that information at least it will mitigate it will reduce or it will eliminate fraud in any organization you need to assess and ascertain the financial position of the business as, as, as at particular debt so the first one i said profit or loss but now you want to know the financial status financial position of that business how will you do that 
without your financial record you cannot you need that record in order to check that to know the financial position of that business know the asset and liability of that business without the financial record you cannot know all this then the next one is to determine the solvency and liquidity of the business this one help you to know the working capital how much how liquid is that business do, uh, do we have cash in that business the financial record will help you to know all this then next one it it serves as a basis of assessing the task to be paid by the business so in a situation whereby you are into business and you don't know the you don't keep a financial record how will you know the tax to be paid you have to keep your record in order to calculate your tax you have to know you have to pay tax to the government but you have to keep record in order to ensure that you pay the accurate tax if not you just be estimating and just be making payments anyhow but in a situation whereby you have your financial record you can easily calculate your tax and you pay the accurate tax correct tax and the next one is to ascertain the asset and liabilities of the business i explained this earlier then it is useful uh, for making economic comparison among businesses comparing recent financial results with the past financial results what this means is with the help of financial record you can compare company a that is into uh, production of product a and company b that is into production of product a the companies that are in the same line of business in the same industry you can do your comparison or even you your company you can compare the uh, financial record your financial statement of last year and this year or last month and this year this financial accounting will help you to do all this um, proper properly kept record are used for planning purpose e.g. setting of target determining the best way to achieve them so like for instance now when you have your financial record that will help you to forecast to prepare your budget what will happen next year you can use this year to predict what will happen next year but without your record you can you will not be able to predict what will happen next year. so then we have a history of uh, of the development of accounting then uh, first thing is who started accounting the, the, the double entry system of modern bookkeeping was developed by uh, Italian man which is named Luca Pascioli in, in eight, uh, 1494 and in Nigeria have uh, in Nigeria the earliest former record of business transaction came with the granting of royal charter to the Royal Niger Company in 1886 then on the 1st of September 1965 the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria was established while the Association of National Accountants of Nigeria was established on the 1st of July 1979 as a second professional accounting body in Nigeria so uh, this this is where we are going to stop and uh, in the, in the introduction to bookkeeping and financial accounting thank you so much for your time